What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? It's your boy, Matty Ice, Leads for Locals. In this video, I want to share with you uh, some really powerful automations. And actually, uh, I want to share what I believe are the two most powerful uh, actions that you can use and combine inside of the Go High Level Workflow Builder. Um, you can create some awesome, awesome automations using these two actions. So make sure you stick to the end. I'm going to give you a couple of examples, uh, show you some things that I have set up in my SaaS product. You can set this up for your SaaS product, your business, whatever. But uh, yeah, this this can create some really good follow up at some key points and just um, also making sure that none of your leads fall through the cracks and just making sure that um, you're moving people forward in your funnel or throughout your sales process. So my only ask as usual, guys, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. It does help. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Always have good training for you guys there. And if you don't mind, uh, if you don't have Go High Level and you want to help support the channel and the content, I really appreciate it. Go through my affiliate link. It does give you a two week free trial. Appreciate it, guys. All right. So the two actions that I think are the some of the most powerful when it comes to uh, like combining them, I guess, uh, or when you combine them, they become the most powerful is tags and the if else condition. All right. So let me show you an example here. So I'm inside my SaaS product and I've been adding a lot of these lately and they're just, man, they're, they're freaking awesome. So uh, we have, you know, a couple of different lead magnets that we offer uh, inside of the SaaS product, like as far as what our clients can use for marketing, you know, free lead magnets, uh, free funding plans, toolkits, guides, et cetera. Right. So what we're trying to do here is as people opt into your funnel to get your free lead magnets, uh, we want to move them forward in the sales process, right? So in our particular case, uh, with, with this type of automation or the, uh, like the marketing system we have in place, uh, we have the initial opt-in, we have a questionnaire page and appointment page. So you want to first map out your sales process. Like what are the different stages that your prospects go through? And then you want to create an automation around each one of those to make sure people are moving forward to the next step. So this is the first step here in our funnel where someone gives us our, uh, their name, email, and phone number to request this funding plan, all right? We have all the, you know, I put them into the, the pipeline. Um, here's the first one, the tag. Um, I recommend have adding a tag for every, almost every single automation that you have because it allows you to create the type of automation that I'm about to show you. So, you know, we do the Facebook conversion API, you can add them to the Facebook custom audience, et cetera. And then what I have it do is wait a minute and then it checks to see if they have auto, uh, if they completed the second step of our funnel, which is the questionnaire. Because uh, it used to be that I would just send um, this email and text right away. But a lot of the times when people uh, opt in to our funnel and they get automatically redirected to the second step, which is the questionnaire, they'll just go ahead and fill out the questionnaire. So we don't really need to send the email and text message saying, hey, fill out this questionnaire because they already did it, right? So this uh, this also helps to prevent overwhelming your list with too many emails and text messages, especially in the beginning part of the process. So I actually have the system now wait one minute and it checks to see if, uh, the, and this, so I'll click on the condition here. All right, and the tag uh, I'm including here is, uh, did they complete the, the, the system is checking to see if they completed the custom plan survey, which is the questionnaire. That's the second step of our funnel. Okay. <clears throat> now this, uh, this condition part right here, if you click the plus sign and you scroll down, it's this right here, it's if else, right? That's the action that we're using. All right. So we're using the tags and then plugging in the tags, uh, plugging the tags inside of this if else condition. So, uh, right here, um, if you go to shoot, I didn't mean to do that contact details and then tag, all right, always wanna make sure you're tagging everything. So let me get that back here. We did custom plan survey, okay. All right, and then save action. Of course, you can also check for multiple tags as well, which I, I have done. You can use uh, opportunity stages, but I just find it's, it's easiest to do the tags, all right? So it's checking to see if they completed that questionnaire yet. So if not, that means the prospect you know, they gave us the name, email, phone number, they're interested, but they didn't get a chance to complete the second step yet. Maybe they're waiting for the email and text. They got busy. Who knows? Whatever. So if they didn't send the text or um, send the text, if they didn't complete the second stage, then we're going to go ahead and start sending the, the first email and text message to remind them, go ahead and complete the questionnaire so we can start putting this plan in place for you. Then 
uh, we're going to wait one day and have the system check again to see if that survey is completed yet. If not, so this is, it's literally the same exact condition here on, on this branch, okay, of this automation. And if not, we're going to send another email. Um, we, I, I don't send another text here for now, because uh, again, I don't want to go, you don't ever really want to go too crazy with text messages, but I suppose you could uh, on this part, but we only waited one day. Um, but we're, uh, I'm going to send the second email reminder. And then you'll notice that um, these, the, these go to's right here, because I have in my uh, automation here where, so they, they request the funding plan. And then a couple of days later, we send them a free funding checklist as well automatically. And we're just trying to provide as much value up front to the list, uh, to these prospects, so that uh, they're more likely to answer the phone, book an appointment, et cetera, right? Just, just staying in front of our audience. So I have these go to actions. So again, if you click the plus sign, click go to save. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't do in between. Okay, let's, uh, let's try right here. I'll do at the end here and I'll just delete it. So we'll go to, and then you select the stage that you want to take them to. All right, I'm going to, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and delete this because I don't actually want to do that. But uh, so we're checking to see if they've completed the second stage uh, of our funnel uh, and sales process. If not, we're sending them all these reminders, text messages, whatever. And then after that, uh, we send them, so it waits another two days and then it sends them that funding checklist. We send another text message as well, just telling them to check their email and stuff. And then it waits another two days and adds them to the long-term follow-up sequence uh, for emails, which I will show you next. Uh, this is a really cool way to add text messages to your emails uh, sequences, guys. Uh, Cause it used to be where, um, at least this is how I did it. I would create separate workflows for my text messages. And then I'd have to add and remove workflows. It was kind of a pain. This is a lot easier to do. Um, so hopefully you can start to see the, the power of this. this is, this is just awesome. And you know, if you're a SaaS agency owner, this is what can really take your SaaS product to the next level. These types of automations that they, they automatically follow up with your clients prospects, man, that is just huge. It's really, really powerful. Uh, it makes your SaaS product that much more valuable. All right, so let's go to the, uh, I'm gonna show you the long-term follow-up sequence for the emails, because that I do have separate. All right, <clears throat> and here's the first email. Uh, so this is the workflow that I added prospects to at the end of that first workflow that I just showed you. All right, so we send out the first email, all right? And these emails are gonna be content, like educational style emails, just teaching people about you know funding, credit, and stuff like that. All right, it's gonna wait three days, and look at this, we're using the if-else, uh, condition action again. All right. So, and, and I'm doing literally the same thing with the tag custom plan survey. Uh, Cause uh, clients will get this long-term sequence uh, regardless of like, if they go through the uh, like every stage of the funnel, cause at the end of the day, you just, you always want to be staying in front of your list. All right. But if they haven't completed the survey, which is the second step of the funnel right here, we're going to send another text message to remind them. And then, uh, so actually, I, I guess I should have said that the there's three really powerful actions uh, to use in the workflow builder, because this go to one brings you back to your original sequence here. All right, so there's still, we're, we're checking to see if they've completed the second stage of the funnel. We're sending that follow up if they didn't, but then we're bringing them right back to our long-term follow-up sequence here. It's, man, this, this is just, just so freaking cool. And so uh, it goes back to the email sequence. Um, you know, we wait three days here. We'll send another email, wait five days, right? Again, trying to spread out those text messages and those uh, sales types of follow-up, right? Because in this text, I'm, I'm asking them, you know, did you get a chance to complete that questionnaire or whatever, all right? So we're going to wait about roughly a week and a half uh, almost right here. And then we're going to do the same exact thing again. If felt condition right here, checking to see if they completed the second stage um, using that tag. From earlier if not we're going to send another text message you can add emails to this as well uh and if you know again if they haven't completed a second step send the text bring them right back to the email follow-up here now if they have completed it then we don't need to follow up with them about completing the second step what we could do though is if they haven't completed the third step then we do the same type of process within the second step workflow right hopefully that makes sense but 
I wanted to share this, guys, because, uh, you know, th this stuff is so freaking powerful. I, I just love Go High Level. This thing is just incredible. And, you know, right here, so we waited like a week and a half here. This is a, roughly about a month right here that we wait to send another text to, to see, you know, if they uh, had a chance to complete the survey or whatever. Actually, I think this one is uh, if they still want it. Hope I just follow up, see if you want me to put that free funding plan. Yeah. So, you know, there's, um, I wouldn't say there's like this magic, magical formula as far as like, oh, what do I say during, you know, in these text messages and emails when we're following up? It's just kind of like, you're just reminding them about what they requested in the first place. And you're trying to get them to move forward within the funnel. So you can, add, you know, the longer your follow up is with this guys, the more valuable it is, uh, the more likely it is to convert leads into actual clients and customers. So uh, I hope this helps uh, get creative with this. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do with Go High Level, uh, especially this workflow builder. And um, hopefully this will give you some ideas, some different things that you can start to put in place in your automations so that you can close more clients and customers. So hope that was helpful, guys. Hope you're crushing it. Matty Ice is out. Talk to you in the next one.